you don't. <laughs> Dr. Freeman, I presume. We better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure you don't remember me, though. something okay it's it's human hello take it easy in there you're safe now you will have to forgive the scanning process we can't take any chances dr. Freeman Gordon Freeman is that you you've made it here this quickly well Eli is going to be amazed not to mention relieved I'm dr. Mossman dr. Judith Mossman I've been hearing about you since long before the Black Mesa incident. Oh, Black Mesa. I do so envy you working with Eli and Dr. Kleiner when they are at the top of their field. Ah, there we go. You can come through now. I'll take you down to Eli right away. You would never forgive me if I kept you waiting. <laughs> We could certainly use the extra help around here. We've covered a lot of ground in the last few months, but they do so much better if we had more people with your training. We're closing in on a reliable local teleport technology. Something the Combine still hasn't mastered. Eli thinks their portals are string-based, similar to our Kalabi Yao model, but they fail to factor in the dark energy equations. They can tunnel through from their universe, but once they're here, they're dependent on local transportation. If they knew what we were doing with entanglement... Oh. <laughs> Listen to me, I sound like a postdoc. I'm just so excited to think that we'll finally have the chance to work together. Where was I? Oh, yes. Dr. Kleiner compressed the Zen relay far beyond anything he imagined at Black Mesa. We figured out how to use Zen as an unexpressed axis. Effectively a dimensional slingshot, so we can swing around the border world and come back in local space without having to pass through. Oh, here's a Eli now.
Eli, look who I found in the airlock. Gordon Freeman. <laughs> Let me get a look at you, man. My God, you haven't changed one iota. How do you do it? Now, let's see. The last time I saw you, I sent you up for help after the resonance cascade. <laughs> I never thought it would take you this long to get back to me. Welcome to the lab, anyway. It's not Black Mesa, but it served us well enough. It's going to be a lot more like Black Mesa with Gordon here to help. Right you are. MIT graduates are few and far between these days. We'll get you out of that hazard suit and back into your lab coat where you belong. Let me just finish up some work and I'll see what I can dig up. Dr. Freeman, it's been a real honor. I'm looking forward to working together. Feel free to look around. We've almost got that portal working again. But I wouldn't blame you if you didn't volunteer for the next trial run. Dr. Breen, he's the administrator of this whole vile business now. He ended the Seven Hours War by managing Earth's surrender. The Combine rewarded him with power. The Vortigaunt said you were here. I can't believe you made it so quickly on foot. I believe he broke your record, honey. Well, he earned it. I guess you proved you can handle yourself out there. There's nothing Gordon can't handle, with the possible exception of you. Dad, please. <laughs> Take a look at this, Gordon. Oh, Dr. Freeman, you should stay with Eli. Go on, I'll rejoin you shortly. relieved me so I could come see Gordon. Anyway, I should be in here working on the portal. I have the repairs well in hand. Someone misjudged the capacity of the Combine Thyristor. <laughs> Are you blaming me? No, not at all. It was a calculation error, not a mechanical problem. Then maybe you should let me do the calculations next time as well as installing it. Alex, really? Sometimes I think you deliberately misunderstand me. <clears throat> Alex? Why don't you take Gordon along and give him some practice with the gravity gun? Sure. Come on, Gordon. Let's go have some fun. The zero-point energy field manipulator is not a toy, Alex. Ugh. Let's get out of here. So I see you've met Dr. Mossman. She's one of the main reasons I spend so much time outside. You should hear her drone on about how it should have been her in the Black Mesa test chamber that day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't be talking behind her back. It just gets a bit claustrophobic down here. That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. Come on. I'll take him from here. Don't struggle, it's no use. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. Carbon star with ancient satellites colonized by sentient fungi, gas giants, inhabited by vast meteorological intelligences, worlds stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. intersect. Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also beyond words, Breen. Genocide. Indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. 
What's this? I'll put it over there. You have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend, and then you deliver yourself? If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a Combine. <laughs> Dr. Breen. Huh. Wallace. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Alex. Honey. Dad. Gordon? No. God damn you, Bree, you let her go. Yeah, it's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <laughs> How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combined portal. Go ahead, Bree. If that's the worst you can do, send us both through your portal. Oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, the Resistance has shown it is willing to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. No! Don't listen to him, Gordon. How about it, Dr. Freeman? Did you realize your contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal with you. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends. I'll send them on their way, and then we can talk openly. Don't struggle, honey. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex, sweetheart. Judith? What do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Guards, get in here. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Marsman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Hurry! Dad, hang on. You fool! Watch out, he's gonna- No! Dad! Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about me, honey. There's no time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman, Judith, look after my father. Don't you worry. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. Never. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. That's my girl. Gordon, we haven't known each other very long, but... I know you didn't have to do this. I had to rescue my father, but you... Well... Thanks for coming after me. It's me you should be concerned. Hey, listen. I can still deliver That's him. But not without your help. A host body you must be joking. I can't. Yes, he is. Oh, all right, damn it. That's what it takes. Just hurry. He's right behind me. 